So the big race is going thicker and faster there. Then it's the Lexus Chase. Next, this is another grade one. It's over three miles. And on the top one is Castle Rock A Go Go for David Robertson, Fan Low for Darren Thompson, Fathom Five, Ryan Costello, G.I. Joe, Leon Van Rinsburg, Kazban Mulligan, David Robertson, King Cirrus for Alex Cherry, Landscape Road for him, Saddlers Four for James Shea, Star Gossa Manuscript, Leon Van Rinsburg, Test of Faith for Joshua Sutherland, and Belmore Stone for Graham Clutterbuck. They're called in and away. And making their way towards the first of the fences in this Lexus chase as they skip over this and they're all over that one safely. I dare say we'll see one or two of these in the King George, which is probably going to be next week. Not in real life, they won't be able to run in both of them. I think, I think they're pretty much on the same day, so close to it anyway. So, anyway, King Cirrus and Belmore Stone are disputing the lead as they get to the second. And they're all over that one, down on its nose a little bit was Castle Rock a Go Go. David Robertson's got two greys in this. Kazban Mulligan and Castle Rock a Go Go. Okay, so some of these will be aimed at the Cheltenham Gold Cup later in the season as well as they take the third. And that time it was Fanlow who decided to make the mistake. Although that didn't stop Darren Thompson's horses yesterday, did it? And they made a couple of mistakes. They went on to win. G.I. Joe, the Leon Van Rensburg horse, is two people's fancy for the Gold Cup later in the season as well. Let's see how that one goes today. I think the general consensus of opinion from that is he wins or falls and doesn't do anything else as they take the fourth. And they're all safely over that one as well. Then with King Cirrus and Belmore Stone set in a stiff pace and they're a good eight lengths clear of the third place. Fathom five, then Test of Faith is fourth. G.I. Joe is in fifth place on the rail. Then after that one in the red is Landscape Road as they take the fifth. And they're all safely over that one as well. Saragossa Manuscript is the back marker at this stage. But it's King Cirrus that leads. As they come up past the stand. King Cirrus and Belmore Stone. Probably ten lengths clear of the remainder. As they race up towards this next fence. And over that one they go. And the leader did not jump it well at all. A good jump in third though by G.I. Joe. Has seen the lead diminish to about six lengths from the, the leader. Uh, about four to the second, but it's Belmore Stone then past that big impressive looking stand. Two of them look and Belmore Stone and King Cirrus. A gap of about five or six lengths to G.I. Joe and then Fanlo. And past the cheap seats which are right by the winning post, which is a bit weird. <laughs> so Belmore Stone in the lead, then King Cirrus is second. And a gap back to G.I. Joe in third, Test of Faith fourth, then Fanlow's moved up nicely to fifth, so to Castle Rock go goes moved up as well. Fathom five and Saddle four after that one, as they take the seventh, that big looking ditch, and running past the brick wall as well. And King Cirrus in the lead at the eighth. That's half a jumping done after this, and I was going to say all the field are still there, but Saddler's four, he's no longer with us, having crashed out at the Midway point of the jumping. And King Cirrus in the lead then by three parts of a length to Belmore Stone in second. Gap of only three lengths then to G.I. Joe's going really well in third. Another gap of a couple back to Test of Faith and Castle Rock a go go together. Then another little gap to Fanlow and Fathom Five together. And then the back three of Caspan Mulligan, Saragossa, Manuscript and Landscape Road as they take the tenth. And over that one, one or two again. Shaky jumping at the back, but they've all got over it and landed on four feet with a jockey on their back as they come down to the 11th. Over that one they go, we'll jump that one a bit better. Uh, King Cirrus is still the leader from Belmore Stone, but G.I. Joe and Test of Faith are creeping closer. So too is Castle Rock a Gogo and Fanlo. He races on in earnest now as they come in towards the final mile of this Lexus chase and they take the 12th. And over that one they go, G.I. Joe didn't jump it all that well that time. And King Cirrus and Belmore Stone have been disputing the lead throughout. King Cirrus by about a nose to Belmore Stone in second. Then Test of Faith, G.I. Joe and Castle Rock a go go as they take the 13th. Over that one they all go with Fanlow after that one. Then Lands Landscape Road is trying to get into it now as well and making a nice 
darting move through the pack, but King Cirrus has gone on by about a length and a half. Then King Cirrus from Belmore Stone in second. Test of Faith is third. Then G.I. Joe on the outside of Landscape Road. Fan loads after that one. The two David Robertson Grace trying to get into it. Saragossa Manuscript is also there as well. Fathom Five dropping away as they take the third from home. And over that one they go, and it's still King Cirrus in front with Belmore Stone behind as it has been pretty much throughout. G.I. Joe's coming under strong pressure now and he's going backwards but it's King Cirrus in the lead from Belmore Stone. Kazban Mulligan sweeps around the outside of the second last but jumped it slowly and it's still King Cirrus. King Cirrus is going well in the lead. Here comes Fanlow. Test of faith. G.I. Joe's got a second wind in. Belmore Stone. Saragossa and Manuscripts trying to get into it as well. They've still got three furlongs left to go and they're racing down towards the final fence and King Cirrus has been in the lead pretty much all the way but now G.I. Joe and Fanlo come to pamps. Here comes Saragossa Manuscript as well. G.I. Joe hits the front, comes to the final fence, gets over it nicely. Saragossa Manuscript runs it better. So too did Kazban Mulligan. It's the three of them in the line. G.I. Joe begins to pull his head in front, but he's being reeled in by Kazban Mulligan. Now he asserts into the final four. And G.I. Joe is showing why he's the anti post goal cut favourite because he's pulling away now from Kazban Mulligan. He's got a length and a half up on him and he's racing towards the line. Two lengths clear, three lengths clear up towards the line. G.I. Joe's going to take this one by a good four lengths in the end. Probably even five. G.I. Joe takes it. Test of faith second. Casper Mulligan third. Then Castle Rock and Go-Go. Belmore Stone drops away. Fathom five was the last to finish. And G.I. Joe looked like he was beaten in between the last two. But he was just having a bit of a breather and playing with them. And it's three on the spin for Leon van Rensburg to start day three of week six. G.I. Joe takes it. Let's take a look at the full card. G.I. Joe for Leon van Rensburg, the winner. Test of Faith, Joshua Sutherland second. Kazban Mulligan for David Robertson was third. Who also took fourth with Castle Rock and Go-Go. So he's got a couple of good ones there. Belmore Stone for Graham Klutzburg. Stuck on well to be fifth.